You know where you are with BBC Southern Counties Radio Travel. The motorway check, it's looking a little bit wet if you're heading up the M25 towards Heathrow and Staines. It's running well both ways through both sets of roadworks at the moment. BBC Southern Counties Radio Travel. It's the voice that keeps you moving. And here's Pippa with the latest. BBC Southern Counties Radio Travel. Let's look at the roads now. Here's Cameron. Southern Counties Radio Travel. That's right, Mark. It is an absolute nightmare. Dozens and dozens of roads are affected across the southern counties tonight, but the major issues are that the M23 is closed in both directions between Junction 10 and 11. That's Crawley down to Pease Pottage. It's all because of severe flooding across both carriageways and just a little further down, the southbound A23 is closed at Hand Cross. Again, the uh, serious flooding has taken place there. The road is going to have to be resurfaced before it opens again. That will hopefully take place around about 11 o'clock tonight, weather permitting but of course we'll keep you posted on there, all of the issues there, but just avoid the M23, avoid the A23 it is looking absolutely horrible all around the area, if you have to get to Gatwick tonight, do allow plenty of extra time for your journey, onto the A3 there was a coach fire southbound just before Cobham, that's been cleared now but it is still very slow on the approach to that one from before Isha Common, and that just in relation to that text just before this bulletin in Crawley the A23 is closed off just near the football club, so obviously that's making all the surrounding routes very, very busy so don't go out tonight unless you absolutely have to. Just looking at a little further afield, Operation Stack is in place on the M20, heading coastbound towards the channel, but sailings out of Dover are now back up and running, but with severe delays. There's also delays for Transmonge ferries and disruption on southern trains between Oxted and East Grinstead. That's because a tree has fallen on the line. And for southwest trains, there's delays between Waterloo and Bournemouth, and that's all because of some flooding earlier on. So do keep your calls coming. Of course, we'll keep you posted throughout the evening. 01483 3 300 325 is the number to call. I'm Ben Kerrigan, BBC Southern Counties Radio. Log on for the latest travel updates. bbc.co.uk slash southern counties. It's five past eight. Keeping Surrey moving. BBC Surrey Travel. BBC Surrey Travel, I'm Ben Kerrigan and on the roads this morning, certainly busy for the motorways, the M25 clockwise, it's a real crawl for you as you head from Junction 4 at Orpington down through Seven Oaks, uh, the interchange at Junction 5 and along to Clackett Lane Service is fairly slow One should be on there though, it's not too bad but certainly on that Surrey stretch 9 to 11, Leatherhead to Chertsey stop start all the way, really slow either side of Junction 10 from what we can see at the moment. Now the M3 London bound, that stop start from 4A at Farnborough up towards Lightwater at Junction 3 through the roadworks there but the M23 and the M4 this morning don't actually seem to be faring it too badly right now on the local roads the A3 it's a crawl from Liphook to Hindhead in towards the lights there was a break down there as well we heard just uh, near the lights making those queues even worse we're just trying to ascertain if that's still there so any more updates you have then do get in touch the A3 through Guildford though running well in both directions slowing down now at Wisley as you head north in towards the M25 you'll find the queue start and not too far after Ripley services. Now the A23 this morning, slow going around Hooley and Causton up towards Purley Cross and if you're heading further in towards the capital, a lane is closed off on Streatham Hill at the moment on the A23 and that is causing delays so do allow extra time if you need to head that way. Looking to public transport all the trains are running well, if you are heading into the capital, on the tubes the circle line is suspended anti-clockwise and there's no district line between Edgware Road and High Street Kensington. That's all down to a signal failure, but the buses, Docklands Light Rail and Croydon Tramlink are looking absolutely fine. There's more travel in 15 minutes. Call with your travel updates now. 0370 411 1046 Keeping Surrey moving. BBC Surrey Travel. BBC Surrey we have some problems on the A3. Ben Kerrigan can tell us more. Yes, that's right, Nick. Heading through Guildford on the southbound side down through the Wooden Bridge, it's queuing up and it's all because of problems just off the A3 on the Chase. This is the road that takes you from the University roundabout down towards the railway station. Somewhere on that road, we think there's been some kind of accident. Certainly we've seen an ambulance go through. So it's backing up across the roundabout and actually onto the A3 itself. So southbound through the Wooden Bridge looking quite slow. Any more on that, then do give us a call. On the northbound side, really not 
too bad at the moment as you head from Liphook to Hindhead, a little bit heavy, but really not queuing up too much at all this morning. On the A23, however, up through Hooley and Causton to Purley, you are quite slow. On the motorways, it all seems to be looking good. Checking the cameras, the M25, the M3 and the M23 are moving well. Public transport is all up to time and we'll have a further travel update in 15 minutes. Call with your travel updates now. 0370 411 1046. Keeping Surrey moving. Travel news from BBC Surrey. Wise, of course, really, there is only one story this evening, and it is the closure of the M25. It's following a serious accident between 7 at the M23 and Junction 8 at Rygate. Now, a lorry overturned, went through the central reservation onto the opposite carriageway, striking one vehicle coming in the opposite direction. Uh, the closure is still likely to be in place until at least gone midnight, well into the early hours of tomorrow morning. Now, in terms of the delay, if you're travelling in from Kent, it's stationary from Clackett Lane Services. I would urge you to come off at least by Junction 5 at Seven Oaks. Anti-clockwise coming in through the Surrey stretch. That's stationary back to 10 at the A3. So now you need to come off by 11 at Chertsey. Northbound the M23, there is no access to the M25 and that closure will remain in place as well. Queues are stationary back to before Gatwick. So again, you need to come off now at Junction 10 for Crawley. In terms of the traffic, traffic they're doing some rearward relief so basically they're turning you around and relieving the traffic that way certainly on the anti-clockwise side now on the clockwise carriageway it's a little bit more tricky what they're going to have to do is cut the central reservation take people through opposite the, to the opposite carriageway and around in that direction it is going to take hours to get this resolved so it's still absolutely crucial that you avoid the m25 now anywhere between 10 for the a3 5 for seven oaks and the northbound m23 and of course the southbound A23 coming down from Croydon elsewhere and one or two problems continue particularly on the local roads just a reminder for you that following another serious accident in Uckfield the A26 is closed in both directions between the A22 and Earwig Corner you're being diverted via Ringmer. Public transport is okay really it is just that major problem the M25 shut off in both directions anywhere between 6 at Godston and 8 for Rygate I'm Sylvie Blackmore Help keep Surrey moving. Call 0370 411 1046. BBC Surrey. I know somebody who can tell us a bit more about the roads. BBC Surrey. Travel you trust. How's it looking, Sylvie? It's looking a lot better, Jamie. The queues that are left are the clockwise M25, which is stop-start between the A3 and the M3, but still solid between the M3 and the M4. Anti-clockwise, just a relatively short queue between Staines and Chertsey, still quite slow from just after 3 at Swanley to the Dartford Tunnels, and the M4 has a short queue eastbound approaching 2 at Brentford and eastbound approaching the M25 from Junction 5 at Langley. Problems continue for the northbound A3 at Guildford one lane remains blocked by a broken down car between the Cathedral Turn and the Wooden Bridge at Banstead one lane is still shut and will be for a while of course for emergency repairs to a burst water main on the northbound A217 around Garrett's Lane in terms of any other queues it is still slow on the A24 into and out of Epsom and on the northbound A23 into Hooley and southbound on the A23 in towards Red Hill There's there's also still a bit of a stop-start delay on the northbound A243 around Malden Rushit and on the London Underground, delays affecting the Circle and the District Lines. I'm Sylvie Blackmore, BBC Surrey Travel. BBC Surrey. Travel you trust. In Hanworth, the Hampton Road West temporary traffic lights at Popham closest because of roadworks. In Horsham, the A24 has one lane closed in both directions. As Robin Hood ran about, that's because of roadworks. There's race meetings today taking place at Ascot. It will get busy around mid-morning and also at Lingfield later on this afternoon. On public transport, there's disruption on southwest trains between Wimbledon and Waterloo. Uh, this is because of overrunning engineering works at Ellsfield. As replacement buses are running on Thameslink trains this weekend between Tulse Hill and Sutton for engineering works. If you're taking place in the London to Brighton 
race tomorrow, you won't be able to take, to take bikes onto Thameslink or Southern trains on Sunday. I'm Ben Punter at the BBC Travel Centre. BBC Surrey. Travel you trust. Call 0370 411 1046. You're up to date with the new sport and weather from BBC Surrey. It's four minutes past 11. BBC Surrey. Travel you trust. And the closure of the M3 uh, over the weekend is causing delays now on the approaches. Uh, the closures between Junction 2, the M25, and Junction 3 for light water and bag shot for resurfacing work and won't reopen until about 5.30 on Monday morning. Uh, putting a bit of pressure on the clockwise M25, Junctions 9 to 10, Leatherhead round to the A3 as traffic avoids the motorway, and also the A30 uh, busy through Sunningdale, Virginia Water and Egham as traffic diverts. Elsewhere, we've got the A3 queuing southbound uh, down through Guildford. This might be related, actually, to the M3 as well, really. Uh, but you'll find it slow from Burnt Common uh, down towards the Wooden Bridge. Uh, we've also got uh, Freshfield Lane at Dane Hill closed following yesterday's burst water main. So the closures between Ketchers Lane, the 275 uh, London Road in West Sussex. Uh, so delays between uh, Dane Hill and Haywards Heath at times. And on the trains, delays for GWR services via Red Hill uh, following a person being hit by a train earlier this morning. And if you're off abroad, Eura Tunnel waiting time is down to 30 minutes now for passengers following the earlier delays. BBC Radio Surrey. Travel. M23, M3, M4, M25 all in really good shape as are the local roads. A little bit of a queue through the works on the A287 as you head between Church and Hindhead and a short delay around the Peace Pottage roundabout. Other than that things are very light in terms of travel and that of course is because the message is very firmly stay at home. Don't make any unnecessary journey on the roads or public transport unless you are a key worker or for food or health reasons. There are all sorts of reduced services on public transport. Pretty much everything things the mainline train networks the london overground underground and tramlink as well as flights the eurostar and ferry crossings i'm sylvie blackmore at the bbc travel center 